Hi everyone, this is Mary Beth Iyer. I am stepping in for Mike Bellum today. Um, Mike's the owner of Life Scientific, but unfortunately he was all the way today to a different job. So I'm gonna kind of just start off with um, thanking everybody for attending this segment today. Um, we have been providing these lunch and learn segments now for um, a while and we're gonna continue to do those. We try to do them the third Wednesday of every month with some different information from different vendors. Usually we start them about 1145. So you can subscribe on our website, um, connecting to LinkedIn or our YouTube page, or just go to our um, Life Scientific webpage and go to the links from there. Um, today we are presenting Vetro Mechanica, and we are going to be doing a presentation on the Vetro Mechanica conveying solutions. So um, just um, as Mike calls a little bit of housekeeping, um, we are live streaming it from our YouTube channel. It's available for future viewing and sharing after this is over um, from live. Then we can then you can view it from our other um, sources on our page. So um, today we shared the link with you, and you can watch it from there as many times as you want. Uh, you're seeing a screen similar to this, so um, you have the option to do it view full screen or um, live chat view. So watching it full screen is better, but then if you want to flip down to the chat screen, then you can hit exit and type in any questions or comments in the live chat box. Um, older browsers and XP machines are no longer supporting this live stream function, so you won't be able to watch it live. But then after it's live, then you can go back and, and watch it. It'll be, you know, posted onto that screen. So. Um, so Mike Bellum started the company Life Scientific in 1992. This is a list of all the manufacturers that we represent um, of, print, of pharmaceutical production. So mostly parental applications. There's a fair amount of crossover in a lot of our um, companies. So you may, you know, be here looking for Vetro Mechanica, but then, you know, see another uh, supplier that's got something that you guys are working on so if, as well. So if that's the case, give us a call. Um, we represent um, manufacturers all the way from aseptic environments through container integrity testing, packaging. Our company has been involved in over 5,000 equipment projects throughout the Midwest. So if you're interested in anything else, just go to our website and you can look up and go link to any of these manufacturers from our website and get some more information on that. Today, uh, as I said, we uh, we started representing Vetro Mechanica Conveying Solutions a few months ago. We are the Midwest um, representative. They are an Italy-based um, custom conveyance system developers and builders. They have more than 25 years of experience in the um, conveyance systems field. So um, they were founded in 1992. They have over 130 employees. They offer a comprehensive service solution for your conveying needs, um, driven by the demands, and I'm sure Daniela is gonna fill you in with a lot more detail on this, but just to give a little overview of Vetro Mechanica, they've been developing their product lines, um, trying to consistently improve the modern automated production lines. Vetro Mechanica's unique approach guarantees the best possible conveyance solutions for your facility, because in developing overall designs, where they take all the machines that conveyance needs happen between the estimated production efficiencies between all those machines. Then they determine that type of conveying solution and how much buffer they may need in between those machines to provide the most efficient production process. Our presenter for this segment is going to be Daniela Rinaldi. Daniela is a Pavia College graduate with a bachelor degree in economics and a master degree in development of small and medium-sized enterprises. Her first role in Vetro Mechanica was a sales manager, a position that Danielle started back in 2004. Today, Daniela is Vetro Mechanica CEO, a position that she adopted in 2007. So with all that being said, I will now turn this over to Daniela and she is going to get much more in depth on what Vetro Mechanica can do for your conveyance solutions. Go Daniela. We are located in Parma. Uh, all this data Mary Beth uh, told you before, so it, it's quite uh, easy to go ahead. We supply uh, engineering and new conveyance solution. We have a, a pretty 
full complete uh, service it means from the uh, technical department till uh, the commissioning of the line so we can follow the customer from the beginning till the end from the engineering till the commissioning on the line and uh, after the commissioning because line needs to be upgraded maintenance and uh, all this uh, stuff that can keep uh, the good efficiency of the line uh, we can uh, um, we have the help of many uh, technicians all over the world in now in north and south america middle east Germany and North Africa, and we can grant remote assistance from uh, uh, Italy. Um, what we we do it's quite strange because we manufacture everything inside. It means that we are uh, uh, we begin from the stainless steel sheet, and uh, uh, we develop all the solution inside. This uh, means uh, tailor-made and customized solution and means uh, short delivery terms. For example, our medium delivery term is 45 or uh, 60 days from the PO. So it's uh, quite fast delivery, uh, delivery terms. Uh, we are dealing with different industries, beverage, as I told you, healthcare, food, uh, chemical, diary, and home care and personal. This means everything can be moved. Bottles, cans, uh, uh, containers in general, uh, food and uh, full and empty. Uh, different materials, so plastic, glass, and again, cans, uh, empty and full. Uh, flow pack, uh, jars, and everything else. And then we move uh, also packs, uh, cartons, uh, uh, shrink packaging, uh, and everything that is in a box, uh, more or less. And we have a quite big product range, uh, bulk conveyors, air conveyors, tabletop conveyors, and can conveyors. It's all conveyors. Dryers. Uh, uh, are uh, machines uh, that you can install just before upstream a labeling machine to dry a bottle or a container before putting a, a label uh, because if the bottle is wet, the label cannot be attached well. Dividers, aligners, and all this stuff related uh, to the conveying system inside uh, an uh, industry. What you see there is uh, an example of a line, of a bottling line, uh, from uh, a blow molder till the palletizer. So we are in charge of all the conveyors in between the machines. All the conveyors means uh, uh, manufacturers and engineering, uh, means mechanics and means automation. All the conveyors means uh, the engineering of the system because the most important thing in a line is the accumulation and the buffer between the machines. This is an example of bulk conveyors. With the bulk conveyors, you can move preforms or bottles in general. Uh, for example, preform uh, that should be feed uh, a blue molder or uh, bulk conveyors for bottles uh, uh, that can that should be moved from uh, uh, a blue molders to a silo stock or something like that.
we have air conveyors. Uh, for example, I can show you a short video just to let you have an idea of what an air, air conveyor is and Air Conveyors is our first product. We began uh, several years ago with this product. So we move empty bottles from a blow molder to the filler and we move it with air. This is our uh, core business, has been our core business for years. So we are very, very specialized and I think that on the market we are the best solution in terms of uh, um, quality and price and delivery terms because we were very, very specialized for a very long time. All this stuff are items uh, and devices that equipped our air conveyor. On the left, you will see this is a standard air conveyor system uh, with equipped with this pneumatic actuator device that we call Eulo Moving Device, which is a patent system, and it allows uh, uh, to um, adjust uh, different body diameters uh, with the same items. We have a special uh, neck guide uh, with this. Uh, plastic uh, material, we have cylinders, we have in general different types of uh, guide registration from the simple to the most complicated one which is the AMD. Uh, this is the time of uh, um, change over. Uh, on the air conveyor, you can have a different type of filters from the easy one, which is a G4, uh, till the most complicated one, which is this one, which is a three stages filter, G3, F7, H14. This is for very special industry for example, milk or yogurt in general, when you need a, a very good filtration because of bacteria or because of contamination. So you have to be sure that the air inside the uh, air conveyor should be as clean as possible. And you have also the possibility to cover the air conveyor just to protect the conveyor from the dust. Uh, then we have tabletop conveyor. Once uh, a bottle has been filled by the filler, you have to move uh, a full bottle from the filler to the laboratory. For example, a Coke uh, bottle uh, has been filled, then you have to put the label uh, all around the bottles and you need um, conveyors doing that. And we have all this uh, stuff uh, they are not just simply conveyor, but uh, 
there are system because you have to accumulate bottle and then you have to align bottle because when you um, have a very speed line, you need uh, a big buffer between bottles. They are made completely in stainless steel and uh, normally they connect a blow molder machine with a, a filler machine. Uh, and the pictures, you will see a, a typical example of air conveyors. They are completely made in stainless steel. And uh, what we uh, can uh, see in blue, this is the um, fan uh, ventilators. It means that they push air through the segment of uh, uh, conveyors <laughs> to push plastic bottles from the blow molder till the filler. Uh, on the left, you will see a couple of uh, PET bottles, example of uh, what we can convey with the air conveyors. Uh, this is all PET bottles, uh, cylindricals uh, with different shapes, uh, different formats, from a little one to a big one. Uh, we can handle uh, a very little bottle uh, till uh, a very, very big bottle. Than, uh, till I believe 10 liters bottle, for example. Bottles are hanging from the neck and they uh, go through the air conveyor uh, just uh, using the air, not more than the air. Second slides are uh, um, examples of the air conveyors. On the left, you will see these big uh, curves this allows bottles to go up and down with different level uh, in a building, for example. And uh, our air conveyor are completely made in stainless steel. They are very ruggedly construction and we have a flexible modular design. This, this means that we can uh, adapt our air conveyor to your requirements, to your needs, and to your building. And uh, we develop um, during our years um, a special system uh, with every repeated section and model, every time um, customized, but uh, ready to be customized in our stock. That means that the main frame of the air conveyor is already built in our store magazine, and we can customize um, the air conveyor uh, with the bottle uh, we have to run. Apart from the uh, hardware of the air conveyor, our main features is uh, the software we install on the uh, air conveyors. Uh, we developed these softwares during the years. Uh, we modified, we upgraded, uh, we did as much as we can to um, help conveying bottles uh, very um, weak and were very light. Uh, as I stated, it continuously checks the air conveyor functioning and thanks to the bottle sensor, it assures a full control of bottle status, missing, moving and accumulating. Because one of the main um, scope of the air conveyor is connecting the blue molder with the filler but the second and most important features is uh, creating buffer and creating accumulation. That means that uh, we calculate the exact length of the air conveyor uh, in order of um, not to stop the blue molder machine. So the air conveyor will uh, be long enough to have the right buffer between blow molder and filler. Uh, to empty the oven of the blow molder and to have a minimum accumulation to give uh, uh, the complete line the right efficiency. 
And all this engineering is done in vitro mechanica and all the softwares and the controls, uh, the electrical control cabinet, the panel, etc., are made in vitro mechanica. And we are able to collect data to modify the speed of this fan through the frequency inverter. This means that uh, on the air conveyor, we have this blower fan that push air inside the what we call the omega channel. But inside the electrical control cabinet, we have this uh, frequency conveyor uh, converters that can mm, modulate the speed of the uh, blower fans in order to uh, go uh, to increase the speed when we need to increase the speed and to decrease the speed when uh, we are, for example, in a static situation. Uh, key points, adaptive speed, as I told you, um, we have different condition in an um, in a air conveyor line. So we should adapt our speed to the different condition of the line. Uh, during the years, we have also developed this low pressure logic. It, it's included in our standard software because we are able uh, to, um, to use this low pressure logic in order to um, avoid the shock among bottles and uh, to uh, spare energy also. Uh, for example, we have static situation during production and we are able to um, frozen the situation. It means that if the blow molder machine, the filler machine are um, stopped for any reasons, we are able in a couple of minutes to frozen the air conveyor situation and to stop all the fans in order to spare energy. As I told you, um, we can run on the air conveyor different bottle formats, mm, small one, big one. We need uh, um, body guys and we need to register these body guys. Uh, you can do this registration in a different uh, um, means with different time. We can have a manual adjustment, but it's not so frequent, we can have a pneumatic uh, adjustment with simple uh, cylinders, and we can have this EMD, Eolo Moving Device, which is patent from Better Mechanica, which allows uh, um, infinitive positions on the air conveyor system. You can see in a pictures, in the larger picture on the left, on the right, sorry, our uh, system. This is a, a specific uh, developed for the air conveyor. It's patent and it's mechanic and pneumatic. This means that it's uh, very simple with uh, uh, a low, very low uh, energy consumption because it, it works like a cylinder. Our competitor on the market to do the same thing, they utilize a um, electric actuator but electric it means to use uh, uh, energy power and uh, it's very delicate because uh, as you can imagine in a um, for example in a filling company you have um, very bad environment condition uh, you have a wet uh, area, for example you can have sugar you can have uh, uh, steam our EMD, uh, it, it can always work because it's plastic and because it works uh, with pneumatic and with air only. We don't need any circuit, any electricity. So it's uh, very, very um, uh, rigid and robust. Um, then we have accumulation system. Uh, we have different uh, type of accumulation. There are standard accumulation uh, system called FIFO. It means first in, first out, which is uh, the one on the right side of the screen. It means that the first bottle uh, who comes uh, inside the table is the first bottle 
goes outside the table. And this is very important for uh, a beverage line. Then we have rotary accumulation system. Uh, it's quite uh, easy and uh, not so interesting. And The one on the left, it's a dynamic accumulation system. It means that you can accumulate bottles in a single row. For example, when you have a filler and a labeler and bottles uh, cannot be one beside the other because they are weak and they can be uh, damaged, you should keep it, uh, you should keep them, sorry, in a single row. So when you did accumulation, uh, this uh, trolley is moving in, the, in this direction. And when you don't need accumulation, this trolley is coming back. So you need, when you need accumulation, the, the row is very long. When you don't need accumulation, the row is very uh, close. It means that uh, you can, the line can choose can choose when accumulation is needed. Uh, this is a special equipment we call tilting conveyor. Tilting conveyor is designed uh, to allow cup sterilization. When you have a hot filling uh, uh, system, uh, the, fill, uh, the, the liquid inside the bottle is hot. You um, slide down a bottle, and the hot liquid will touch the cap. In this way, you can sterilize also the cap and you can avoid bacteria on the cap. Uh, we have different uh, dividers. Uh, uh, in a bottling line or in a packaging line, you need to divide bottles. Uh, so we have different system, uh, again, with reference to the speed of the line. So uh, we can offer to the customer different possibilities. And, uh, okay, as I told you at the beginning, we are quite strange from the market because we manufacture everything inside. This means that we have... Uh, inside our production, also the machines uh, to cut, to bend, and to weld all the stainless steel we use in our facilities. And this is, uh, there are pictures of our facility. This is a laser cutter machine. This is our stainless steel uh, store magazine. This is our production facility. This is a bending machine. And that's it for the moment. Um, thanks so much for your comprehensive overview. I guess it was so comprehensive. You know, we're, we're really happy to have you guys as a new addition to our manufacturing line. I think this has been a gap in our lines for, you know, a long time. So I'm happy that, you know, we're, um, you know, we're have you guys aboard. So we're currently scheduling virtual conferences with clients for Vetro Mechanica products and services. So if anyone out there, you know, you have any questions right now, but if you're looking at, um, doing a conveyance solution and have any questions, we'd be happy to set up a virtual meeting with you guys, um, you know, with our team and then get someone from the Vetro Mechanica team on as well, we'll get together and answer any of your questions and, you know, get you a quote out on our equipment. So, um, you know, conveyance is a huge part of overall production efficiency and, you know, with the right conveyor, it can really help your line um, quite a bit with stuff and we'd be happy to help you out with that. So, um, you know, like I said, if there's any questions that pop up, don't hesitate to call. We've got our information on there. Uh, we thank Daniela for taking her time here today. All of you who attended, I hope you found it quite beneficial and expect to hear from you soon for a meeting um, on some of the showcased equipment and machinery. We'd be happy to give you um, a quote or a, or a private overviewing um, on that. And hopefully if we're doing a one-on-one -on -one session and, and maybe when we um, set this up on our 
website, we will be able to um, share some of those videos with you or on our YouTube channel. Maybe they'll work on that, Daniel. That'd be great. Okay, it was my pleasure to participate. Thank you guys for your attention. Bye. Bye.